folks that are let's let's call it a you know an, an HR director who is passionate about this they understand the impact on the human side but might be getting pushback uh from maybe the the C suite and and mm -hmm. and C suite can are having a hard time uh conveying the business case have you bumped into a business case a business reason where a CFO or a CEO might really want to sit down and spend time on this I think unfortunately it's probably the biggest hurdle we have is that there'll be someone and maybe they're a HR manager or a director of HR and they're really passionate about it usually because they've had their own experience or because they've seen their team kind of struggle to support someone through a bereavement and then we make all our recommendations which are based on national benchmarking our own research other people's research and then the organization essentially says either we can't afford this we can't give people paid time off because it's just not viable financially or it's not a priority for us right now. We think there are more important mm -hmm. things to be, you know, more important policies to be writing or things that we should be spending our money on. I guess my rebuttal to that based on anecdotal, but also research that we've done is people take the time anyway. So mm -hmm. I guess the challenge that I would put to those senior leaders or people in organizations, if you're trying to build that business case is look at things like your sick leave after someone takes bereavement, look at things like productivity in those teams, uh, retention, churn rate of people that have had a bereavement in the last, you know, one, two, even five years, because we know it can affect people for a very long time afterwards. Um, we see, you know, I'm just thinking of stats that we did even just this year for our Dying Matters campaign, 39% um, of people had lied about taking leave that was actually bereavement wow. leave, but they said it was something else. Half of people use their annual leave. So people are away from the workplace anyway, you know, whether they take that as annual leave, which then means they're more likely to burn out because they're not actually taking time as vacation time and time with their family or time off. Um, so people are taking the time anyway. So I guess the business case for me is people are already doing it and they're lying sure. to us about it and they're feeling guilty about it. And we're creating a culture where people are hiding the reality of what's happening in their life. They're coming back before they're ready. So they're not productive. 58% of people told us that they, were still being affected in terms of productivity months after their bereavement. So I would look at things like that in your organization specifically, but if you don't have that data, you know, I'm happy to provide that to people so you can sure. give that to them. Cause I, I guess the question is like, do you want, if it's already happening, you're already paying for it. People are already taking time away. They're already not being productive. So what's the harm in offering that <laughs> transparently paying right. people for it, giving them the support, it's right. already happening. So why not do it in a way that, you know, it's not just a bit like oftentimes you talk about, we talk about this in this kind of fluffy way. Like it's a nice thing to do. It's the right thing to do. hundred percent agree with that. It's also just makes mm -hmm. business sense. If I was running a business or a company tomorrow, I would give everyone 10 days paid bereavement leave. Cause I know it's just the most effective way to get them back mm -hmm. into work, to retain them, to make sure they stay loyal to me, to make sure that they don't have resentment against their manager and their team, which completely erodes relationships. It just makes sense in terms of a business. So there is that data out there. Um, and I'm sure that's the same for a lot of organizations where they could yeah. pull that data and show that business case. Yeah. Incredible. So, so, so incredibly valuable. And I'm, I'm, I'm seeing it in the chats and if you're not faith, uh, your, your, your time here is, uh, incredibly valuable to, to, to the folks that are, that are here today. And, uh, we'll, we'll obviously broadly share that with other people to make sure that your, uh, that that your expertise and um your i don't know uh fingerprints are on uh change that is made uh is, you know throughout throughout the united states or throughout bereaves uh marketing whatever it is uh incredibly valuable and, and so grateful for that